and welcome fellow girls, guys and gamers. This is Small Archangel. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Life is Strange, Episode 4, Dark Room. Uh, if you watched the last episode, uh, we were here on the beach by Frank's RV. And basically we have managed, without bloodshed, to talk him into giving us uh, the code for his client list or some such thing i'm not quite sure what he gave us on a piece of paper but it's going to help us hopefully to find rachel and obviously he has a vested interest in that too because it seems like other than his dog which is unfeasibly named pompidou uh rachel's pretty much the only thing he's ever loved so uh that's all very kind of bittersweet and uh we're gonna see what we have to do next Ah, our wall profile. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Still Amen. wants his money, I dare say. But as to whether Chloe's okay, better well... focus on this board and start tying these clues together. She's still got issues. She's still got things to deal with, and haven't we all? Okay. Hi, Max. I want to see how the search was going. We both want a party. Okay. So, yeah, he has kind of, uh, he has kind of uh, chilled out with us quite a lot. He must have done a good job. Max, now Dave is not here. I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. That won't happen if you and her getting mixed up in illegal crap. Like breaking into Blackwell at night. Oh, how did she even know about that? I know it happened. So don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you'd get her back on the right tracks. It looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. That is true enough. Sorry, Joyce, even I get to shenanigans. Shenanigans. Only Max could use a word like that. But I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. Still teenage adults. Yeah, takes a while to grow up. Chloe says... That was no emoji. No, it isn't an emoji. But uh, Chloe must have said that a while ago because we're still in her house. All right, so let's have a little looky at our profile board here. Frank's clues. Right, this is our main board. Gather info on a character by selecting all the current clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues. Thanks to, to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Right, okay. I didn't actually have time to... Uh, hmm. Okay, so... I'm not quite sure how we move about between these images. Oh, oh, we just look. That's okay. Kate's pictures. Coordinates. Coordinates. Well, that would be what... Would that be what Frank gave us? Oh, no, that's something we got from David's stash. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Okay, that doesn't really make sense to me. It's coordinates, but we don't know what from. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Well, that's certainly Nathan's truck. Okay, so how do we we select this, for example? And then what? Do we we select it or we can deselect it? What do we cross reference it with something? Coordinates. I have no clue. Oh, rats, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's investigate again. So uh, we have license plate pictures, we have a map, we have Nathan's pictures, we have this piece of paper David here. really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Hmm. Hmm? Surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed they massively was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this. And given the questionable company Rachel's been keeping, not sure I can believe her right now. Hmm, nice. Of course. I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. <laughs> well, you know of your own guilt and innocence better than anybody else. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? 
I think he is paranoid about everybody, but I think he knows something too. And then there's pictures of Kate. Okay, so let's just try, randomly, selecting some items and see if we can actually put Police these David together. Was finally going after the right suspect. Nathan. Well, I don't know whether he's still investigating. Let's select the pictures of Nathan and this. Okay, I'm not sure that did anything very much. Two out of three. Uh, and then that's, hmm, let's see, coordinates. I have no idea and what I'm doing. that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Okay, so that's David's clues there. Is that what we just put on the board? Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Oh, good lord. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at this picture here. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Of course he does. Absolutely. Overcompensating, as usual. Yeah, of course he does. So that is his, which means that we select that because we know that's him because we've seen him driving it. And we select that because that's his license. And... Coordinates. Well, how are we going to know <coughs> which of these coordinates to choose? Does it make any difference? I don't know. Let's just check one of them. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Wrong clues. Okay. Well, let's deselect that one and try one of the other coordinates. Come on. To do Nathan's license plate number, we oh. match it up with the coordinates. Well, we already deduced his license plate number, surely, right? Okay, so let's deselect that and select that, right? These clues are not related. They're all of the same truck. How can they not be related? That does not compute. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Uh, I would say so. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Ah, that is an SUV, but it has a broken tail light and it has a different license plate. This one has definitely got a broken tail light. This one has not. So we'll deselect that one. And this one is definitely, I would say, Nathan's car. So I've got those two selected. Okay, so we have a picture of Nathan's car with Nathan in it. We have a picture of Nathan's number plate. We know it's his because we can see the broken uh, rear light and... What do we need to get? Those clues are not related. Fine. Do we need to find the right coordinates? Oh, yes. Now we're uh, finally getting somewhere. Okay. That took a little bit of working out. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Hmm. I wouldn't count your chickens that soon. Okay, so we have an extension board now with some photos and things on it. Alright, now let's see if we can do a little bit more investigating. We've got the ones down the bottom and the ones up at the top, so let's have a look at these. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay, so... Letter. What is so, this? What happened to Rachel after this? Mm. She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. No, I don't think he would either. What do we have here? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Okay. So these guys, they're all named after dogs. Oh, he really is mad on dogs, isn't he, Frank? So I think actually that... That we should select because that's his client list. And what's this? There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Uh-huh, okay. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. Well, we don't know. He probably didn't have anything to do with her disappearance, whatever. So, about this picture. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but... 
she did come back. Account book. Oh, Frank's account book. The client but names the are client encrypted. The client names are encrypted. So we need to select that because yes, the game is on. Yeah, exactly. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Okay. So let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Alrighty. So okay, that's Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Chihuahua, Katie. <laughs> That actually Ms. Fancy Car. Oh no, is is she the one who has the big posh car that we saw? I don't know. And then some people here we don't actually really know who they are, like Nacho. Uh, okay, so that's a client list. Let's we're just gonna have to look at all these, aren't we? Frank sure problem. is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Yeah, it's amazing he's just living in a beat up RV, to be honest. Look at this. He could be seriously making some money. Unless he has overheads. Dog nightclub. Dog nightclub. Dog. Bobtail. Yorkshire. Bobtail. Okay. So what we want is Rottweiler, don't we? So there's no Rottweiler on that one. Uh, let's Everybody see. in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Yeah, he certainly has a lot of clients. Let's see if we can if find Frank Nathan. Frank this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? <laughs> no, I wonder looks what so dog far. name Frank would have given me. Well, quite. Rot, beach, two grams of cocaine. Yeah, he's so on cocaine. And Blackwell, two sheets of skidoo acid. And Rot, beach, two grams of molly and a quarter of weed. Right, that one is definitely to be selected. Okay. And let's have a look at this one. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. <laughs> okay, he's not on that one. Hmm. Two ah. deals with Nathan on the same day? Mm -hmm. he's Party on this supplies, one no doubt. Yeah, that's right. Boondocks and Blackwell. Okay, that's good. So we'll select that one also. Uh, and I don't think he was on any of the other ones. So let's, we can't select that one. Let's just see. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Is it really? Has that really got us that far? I don't know. So I guess now we just have the clues down here to deal with. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. Hmm. What could help me unlock this phone? Well, let's hope we have something here that can do that. A student file, let's have a look at that. There's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah, his home phone, mobile and work phone, and there is, yeah, his parents' phones as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be what we really need to find. <clears throat> We've got a flyer. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? And probably a lot of other girls too. I've no idea what's this drawing. If there is a dark room, we better find it. Hmm. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Yeah, well, if there is a dark room, I don't know who is in it. Quite a few people, including Nathan, Rachel in the dark room. Wow, that's some seriously scary stuff um disassociative writing perhaps i don't know i wouldn't call it a drawing Holy exactly shit. nathan is seriously unhinged mm. but those numbers might be useful well there's quite a few of them there and one of them is rings so i'm gonna select that uh we've got a sim card here let's have a couldn't look at hurt that. to give this pin code a whack i guess so maybe we should select that Need to have four bits selected. Let's have a look at this. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Oh dear, Mr. and Mrs. 
Prescott, we regret to inform you Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Miss, Mrs. Hoyder's intro to literature class on Tuesday. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write up for his file. Nathan has enormous potential, also erratic behaviour patterns that may need some supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. You're not kidding. The school could not tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss the matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Right, I don't think that's going to be ever so helpful to us at this point, but we're obviously going to need to. Uh... Oh, there has got to be some good shit in this phone. <laughs> I just need the code to unlock it. So obviously those items there, and then perhaps his student file. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Let's start hacking. Nathan just gave me a sent me a text. What? Yeah, and you can't write, you illiterate. What the heck? Okay, is he actually illiterate or is he just trying to prove that he he doesn't give a, a, a rat's ass? I have no idea. Okay, so we have to narrow these down then. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got loads of numbers on that, haven't we? Let's have a look at this one first. We've got... Zero, zero. Well, 9535 has got a ring around it, so I don't know. But then 5... Now, what is that number? 542, is it? Or is it 552? I can't honestly tell. Uh, and that that's how he writes his four. So 542 is in red, so I don't know if that's at all significant. We've got 9535. Uh, let's try that first. 9, 5. That's the right number of digits. Five, three, five. Okay. Oopsie. Oops. Bad code. Okay, so that wasn't it. All right, let's have a look at this same card. That's just one, 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 one. He may have forgotten to change it, so let's just give it a whirl. One, 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 one. <sighs> yeah. I knew mm -hmm. it wouldn't be that easy. Well, he's going to be security conscious, isn't he? Okay, so let's see what else is on here. There's a couple of other numbers, isn't there? 542 is too short. Uh, I suppose if we put a zero on the beginning of it, that might work. But let's try the other numbers on here first. Um, because there's a bunch of them. Oh, uh, Let's try putting a zero on Five, four, two. No. Let's try the others first. Zero, zero, five, eight. You locked it, dumbass. Ah, oh, well, at least we have the PUK, and I've written it down because I'm fairly sure that we're going to need that again. So it was eight, seven. Eight, nine, uh, seven, eight, oh, eight. Booyah! Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Okay, so, uh, what's up? Cool, mm, calm down, bring it to me, need the G. Okay, so some kind of, you sold me water. <laughs> Stay with yes. pigs on the beach. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Uh huh. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. I need to score a <laughs> no char time charge me double. Yeah, well, money's no object to this dude. I'll call you. Give the exact direction. Drug dealer drama. What do you need? Proof you flakes, you do acid. He's seriously strung out, isn't he? God, Nathan. You're out of control. Yeah. <laughs> so it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Hmm. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Is this from Nathan's father? Please not contact That's me at brutal. work. I've told you this before about being high. It's not an excuse anymore. Business, not a hobby. You wanted me to treat you like an adult. Could get things done on his own. Impress me. 
Hmm. Might be his father, but it's difficult to tell. You would have thought that there'd be something on his phone to suggest that it was, but maybe not. I don't know. Depends on his relationship with his dad. Okay, so we can investigate the whole shebang now. Take a breath, Max. <sighs> Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Alrighty. Well, let's start at the top, shall we? What do we have here? I'm tweaking. Okay. Uh, let's have a look to see. I give you exact directions. Well, he didn't via this, did he? Now there. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Okay. But in this lot. You home. On the way, load the bowl. So, yeah, got to party tonight. Yeah, I don't know. Where is he? You home. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Because there's no directions given here. He's been too careful for that, perhaps. Okay, I can't think that any of those are particularly helpful. This might so, be, though. this infamous party was, was on the 4th. Fourth. Fourth. Yeah, so we might want to select that, perhaps. Or, no, we can't select that. So we're looking for the 4th on these here, maybe. That was the 7th. That was also the 7th. That was the 4th there and that's where he's talking about having a party let's just see uh let's see what these are 10 p.m and that's on the 30th of the previous month so that's not the one so that's the seventh as well seventh fourth at 11 p.m. That might be the one there. Let's just see, because there might be more than one on the 4th. 7th. And the 4th. 5.40 p.m. at Blackwell. So, hmm, let's see. Was this the one that was... Okay, here we go. So we'll select that. Uh, oh, actually, do you select that one? We'll select the one that's at Blackwell because the Vortex Party was at Blackwell. That's the one there, so we'll select that. And we need to select one of these down here as well. So let's just have a look and see. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? 4.24 a.m. Well, what time was this? 5.40 p.m. Hmm... And that was at Blackwell, according to this. Yeah, so. That not beach is up. like Frank's main office. Hmm. 5.28 p.m. 3.10 a.m. 10.42 p.m. Okay. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. No. We need a picture of Blackwell. Is this the one no here? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So... He could be hiding clues there, too. Well, there's a heck of a lot. He's been dealt a heck of a lot here, hasn't he? Uh, let's see, on the 9th, 4th, on the 4th of October, 5.36 p.m., 7.25 p.m., 6.23 a.m., and 11.23 p.m. Okay, let's look up those. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try, Try again. again. Okay, perhaps not. Perhaps we're on the wrong... One there. Maybe we need to use this one that was in the middle of nowhere and then take the picture of the forest. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Yeah, I get that. I get that's what we're doing, but you know. Okay, so we need the 5.27 p.m. one, don't we? Which is not that one. It is this one. It really is. So this one suggests that we need to be at Blackwell. But the Blackwell picture did not work. So he perhaps didn't meet him at Blackwell. But he did meet him at Blackwell according to this. 
that was 540. The text message says 527. So the times marry up there. And he says he met at Blackwell, but it might not have been the actual main campus. Uh, let's see. What are the other pictures here? Not much out there. No. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor Rich Nathan. Poor little rich boy. Poor messed up little rich boy. And this one is... Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Uh... Are they? That just looks like a picture of a petrol station to me. All right, so... I don't know. For some reason, this doesn't seem to want to marry up, even though in my head it should. Because all the times match up. We've got the 4th of October, 5.36, there at Blackwell. And we've got this piece of paper and that. But I can only imagine that we've got the wrong message somehow. So let's just deselect and try again. Okay, let's select that one because that was the fourth as well. And 10.24, 10.26 p.m. So that's the later one, which is this one here in the boondocks. Middle of nowhere then. So boondocks could be this, couldn't it? 10.56 p.m. Okay, maybe. Let's just see if we can... Yeah, maybe that works. Chloe, this is... Definitely the place. A barn on the back of the here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Yeah, and? Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. You can hide a lot in a barn, you know. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Prescott. I'm mm -hmm. shocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really surprising. Should we call the police? Fuck that. No. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Obviously that's we're gonna so go out there. Up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. Mm hmm I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. Oh, don't like too I feel much like on a girl. close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. <laughs> Do you hear, Chloe? No, I'm not sure yes, she sir. really does. No trespassing. Well, goodness knows we've done enough of that to this point. Oh, that's an appealing sight. What the heck does a little bit more trespassing? What difference is that Holy gonna make? Shit, this is scary. Uh huh. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. This is not the middle of the night. Be thankful for small mercies. Whoa! Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Well done, Sherlock. Dude, somebody was just here. Uh, they could we still need to be. Get in that barn. The vehicle could be inside the barn. So we're going to leave this episode here, guys. We've done quite enough investigative journalism for one day, or just in general investigation. Uh, and in the next episode, hopefully, we'll have a little bit more action, though. Preferably not too much. So if you've enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Hit that like button and let me know. Also feel free as ever to give me your hints, tips and comments. And share your gameplay if you've played this. And uh, until the next episode, keep gaming, stay happy and bye bye for now.